All right, we're back with more Bleach. <laughs> I had to come back with another ble Bleach video because you guys like gave me a whole bunch of support for the last one. I think I was going to do another one anyway because I had one a lot of fun doing it as well as this episode. I think the newest episode I had a lot more fun with as well. Just, but just want to say again, thanks for all the support. But going back and tell I was, what, what this really, really is, right? It's just me having fun talking about some of the stuff that's in this season specifically with Bleach, right? And some of, like, the amazing stuff, like, you can definitely just count on when it comes to the show. Like, one, the fashion. Two, the OSTs out the ass. Three, the fights. Bruh. Four, the speeches. That is, of course, if you are indeed a scientist at all. And, th did I say fights? Yeah, yeah I appreciate sure the say fights. Anyway, the fights again. <laughs> Also, if you haven't, hit me with a like and subscribe to help. But you know what? Let's start off strong, right? I want to start off by talking about the Wizards. Now, I love the Wizards. Like, I think they're all cool as hell because they train Ichigo as well as they all have the hollow mask. They all have really, really cool masks, like all of them in general. And they, even some of them have, like, showing some of their personalities because it is, like, a lot of them. It's, like, I think it's, like, eight or nine of them and showing some of their personalities here and there. But, like, most of them get shit on, man. Like, I'm, I don't I don't know what to say. Like, most of them just get, like, actually dunked on. And it's fucking, like, it's terrible. It makes me want to cry. Like, Tate Kubo, I know you're going to go to this. And then you want to also show off all the Bankai's powers and abilities before, I guess, the series is over. But at least not to win a fight or two. Like, holy shit. I know some of them have, like, won a fight here and there. But they can win, like, a couple or some shit. Like, holy fuck. Like, I know most of them are out doing a mission or they have to re rebuild, I guess, their old base operation for that base of operations that I think is going to come into play later and I guess the series or whatever the case may be. But there's no there's no excuse for the other three that are captains in like in the hair now. And really quickly, I do understand how we have to also make the villain seem like pretty strong or like really, really strong in a sense of like, hey, they're a problem, right? And then they're going to take out a few characters or the case may be or from the main cast to show like how much of a problem they are. But dang, you have to pick the wizards like they already don't have enough doves as it is. But the three people I'll talk about, actually, no, I'll start with the one at a time, right? The first one, Sinji. Now, with Sinji. I'll give him a little bit of a break, right? Because, like, he has a cool-ass theme that everyone else is gushing over, with me included. That theme is cool as shit. But my issue is... Oh, yeah, also, we also got to see his Bankai, which is actually really interesting, where he, like, basically has everyone go against each other and how useful it could be if he's, like, by himself and he's, like, surrounded by, like, a whole bunch of enemies. But the thing is, with Shinji, he has his little, like, 1v1 with Bambita, and in my head, I was like, okay, so she has an explosion thing, right? And I was like, she could probably just AOE and take him out. But I was like, nah, it's not going to happen. There's no way Sinji's going to get, like, hit by that and, like, get, like, one shot, right? He proceeds to get one shot and AOE'd. Oh. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. My soul cried out that day. And I, I, I just sat there wondering, like, why did he just use his hollow mask or some shit? Like, what the fuck? Why did he just, just at least have, like, a, little, a bit of a power amp? And I saw there's, like, also a little bit of a running theory for, like, the other uh, characters, I guess the other wizards that are captains. Like, I wonder why they didn't put on the hollow mask. I don't know if I missed a tidbit or some shit like that, or I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe they can't use it anymore. I have no fucking clue, but they, they, none of them ever put it on when they got, like, one-shotted. And the same thing goes for Kenshi and Rojuro, bro, against Mask. Like, Mask is cool, right? But, like, he's like, he, he can hang, but he doesn't hang, hang. Like, he's not that cool, right? But he just, like, knocks out everybody. Everyone just gets knocked out by this Mask guy. And his fucking freak of nature of a thing that he calls Jane. They deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. Bro. This thing, this creature of the night needs to be eradicated, burned fucking eviscerated from the timeline of bleach what is that thing it's like it's like a mystery of what like what is it first of all and second of all that thing kept fucking buffing him and amping him like we're in an rpg like what is going on but the pauses i will give for kenshi and rojuro is like we got to see their abilities and their bankais and they're both really interesting what can say like sort of being like a jackhammer when he hits you and then like it like i don't know if it amplifies or it stacks onto each other and then it's like concussion force when it like pushes you back, I believe. And then also Rojuro with his 
other ability as well um with his bankai where he sort of has like a whip and then it turns into like a little bit of an art show that has like things that aren't really there happen and it's it's a little bit weird but it's also they're both really cool but the thing is i hate is like with kenshi how he's talking the hottest shit he's like oh my goodness you're down on the ground we do all this training and then this is all you have to like show and shit like that and then he just gets like fucking eradicated off the off the face of the earth i was like oh my god there's no way this shit is not real but the, the ensuing nightmare that is james as well as his backup dancer mask they both get eradicated by genji I said Genji, what the fuck? Why did I say Genji for like Overwatch or something like that? I mean Renji, but like he, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But anywho, Renji, who is actually really, really cool. I do like how he, technically speaking, only knew half of like his abilities. That's why I probably kept getting like fucked over, I guess, for one shot throughout the whole entirety of Bleach. But now he, he has his Bankai, he has everything at full max potential. He's actually pretty strong of a character, which is pretty cool. And also the introduction with him and Rukia, how they both look like snow guys like this came off an ssx fucking game or some shit like that or snowboarding like that was really really cool but seeing renji's abilities were awesome i ain't gonna lie it was super cool and then also hearing his theme too like again i swear to everything when it comes to bleach they do they don't miss with the osts they do not miss with osts they'll always go crazy Top tier OSTs always. But that was really all my thoughts what I had for like the this season as well as I guess the last. That's pretty much it. I probably will come back. But it'll be back in a while. Like I'll be back like after maybe I don't know, I don't wanna say it would bleed over, but like a good like no good number of episodes and some cool, more cool shit is happening that I definitely want to talk about and gush over with you guys. So I, I want to like have a little bit more fun about talking about all the stuff I did like about this season or as well as in the last season as well. And it's not like I don't have fun with uh, making uh, these videos when it comes to um, inter like deep shit, right? Just like deep stuff or stuff that like like picks my mind more or less. But like I sometimes like want to make a few m more jokes that even I normally even do here and there. That's why you see in JJK videos sometimes I do that. But just want to say thank you guys again for all the support and I always have fun as usual. But you guys have a really good one. Love you guys again and peace, guys. Goodbye.